All right, everybody, you are still watching The Lowdown. Now, I'm very excited because my next guest, I've watched this dude for years. He's one of the founders of the Battle League Grind Time Now. Y'all give it up for the man, the myth, the legend himself, Mad Eels! Yes. There he is. Hey. There he is, man. What's going on, sir? Hey, how you doing? Join me, my friend. Hey, Join hey, me. Hey. Join me, man. Yeah, man. Oh. Sit down, relax, my thank friend. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> okay, first, first off, Ills, man, I just gotta say, big fan. Like, we talked on the phone and I was screaming like a little girl. I apologize, yeah. man. <laughs> big, <laughs> big fan, man, I love what you do. Thank you for being here first off. Appreciate it, appreciate no, it, man. Let's talk about it, let's jump right into yeah. it, man. Grind time now, bro. Yeah, man. Amazing, now for folks who don't know, describe what it was, because it was the first of its kind. Right, right, Grind Time Now was the first ever battle rap league that ushered in what people know of battle rap competitions now. That happened in 2008 yes. here in Orlando, Florida. At our largest, we had a chapter in every major city in the United States. We were part of the United Nations uh, program, uh, Music is a Natural Resource. What? We were in Johannesburg, South Africa, and Sydney, Australia. Over 125 million views on one platform. And we were Bro. a global movement. Yeah. Bro. Um, <laughs> ah, I, bro, I loved it. Bro, even the introductions like for the actual battle was amazing. Like, yo, grind time now. This is your man, Mad Ills. We got James John versus Diabetes. Like, he, <laughs> it was hype. Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I loved it. It was a spectacle, man. I would go home to watch those with my kids, man. It was, it was something that can't be replicated, that moment in time. It right. was something yeah. special. And, and a lot of... A lot of the underground artists at that moment in time, they actually contacted us, hit us up, and said, hey, we're down for this movement. So that's how it blew up so big, because once we hit World Star, wow. we, just, we had everybody and their mother hitting us up to try to do events and things like that. And, um, you know, God rest his soul, uh, Q, the, the founder of World Shout Star, God bless. he really loved us. Mm -hmm. he, he saw our stuff, and, and all we asked him, we said, hey, if we put the world star logo on, over our videos would you would you play them and he was like yeah send as many as you can and the rest is and history yeah, man he, he, they blew us up oh yeah. my gosh that's amazing so, man shout out the world star man definitely that was awesome <laughs> now what made you come up with an actual league because battle rapping for us used to be in high school. Your fans would get together, right. start a cipher, and these guys would battle, whatnot, and the, you would know you won by the crowd. Like, crowd's like, ooh, yeah. you know what I mean? Well, 2008 was a time where a lot of the bigger tournaments around the United States got canceled out. You remember on BET when they used to have the Freestyle Friday? Absolutely. They took that off the air. And yeah. instead of having freestyles, they had people doing performance contests. Mm -hmm. So the timing was kind of right for what it is that we did. But gotcha. I had a friend of mine, his name was Direct, he was my partner that helped me start it, wanted to kind of do like a, a battle DVD. Okay. And I was just like, hey man, um, I've, been, I've been toying around for the last year or so about doing kind of like a league where written and freestyle are accepted. Yes. We keep track of the wins and losses and at that, at that time in 2008, I was already touring with uh, Guerrilla Republic. Okay. So I had already had connections in a bunch of cities. And my partner direct was like, yeah, let's do it. We got another uh, man by the name of Lush One involved in the West Coast. And mm -hmm. he, he really helped blow us up out, out of the West Coast. And after that, we just started getting all of the, the big players in the cities. You know, when we went to, we went up to Boston, we had Ed OG. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, he, he was our Boston guy. When we went to um, Detroit. That was so dope about the yeah, whole thing. Yeah, we, yeah. We had, we had the people that were in the scene of the hip hop scene of those cities all pitching in and helping out with the movement. So that really helped us out. And what was so cool about it, Grind Time Now became the entertainment for mainstream rappers. Oh yeah. Some of the biggest ones oh, out yeah, there. That yeah. You guys became what they would go to. Yeah, like uh, Bazaar of D12, shout out Bazaar. Yeah. He, he would tell us like, hey, you know, when we're in the studio or Eminem's in the studio with Dre, they would take a break and they would watch us. Like even, there was an article where there was an interview with uh, Young Guru, mm -hmm. who is uh, Jay Z's um, engineer, mm -hmm. that would that said one of the things that one of the top ten things that you don't know about Jay Z is he's watched every grind time battle. Wow! So like these people would literally take a break from whatever it is that they were doing, and they would tune in. I've had I've had conversations with Meta World Peace. Okay. He he actually he put a video out back in the day and used grind time as a tag. Uh huh. And we contacted him and said, Hey man, like. 
you can't do that, <laughs> saying that your video is a grind time battle. Like, hey, first off, thank you. <laughs> right, right, right. <laughs> but we, we got him to participate in some of our stuff that we were doing. Even nowadays, he's, he's still very much in love with the battle rap culture. So, but yeah, we I love it. We we tended to attract all of the major you know hip hop celebrities and outside of that, and it, it was it was a real surprise to go out to these events and shows in these different states, and then all of a sudden you'd have you know. Immortal Technique there. Yes. Or you, you know, we had Slaughterhouse come out and judge. Oh my God. We, we've had so many people be a part of it. it it's, it's, it's awesome. And I, I love it, man. There's so many things to get to. I want to mention your book too, mm -hmm. but I want to talk about the fact that you guys were a platform for a lot of guys to, to really move on and get to that next level. Like Conceited, that's on Wild right. and Out. Yep. Is, you know, he started there. Yeah, Conceited comes from Grind Time. Yeah. And if you, if you go back and you look into the archives right before Conceited starts, mm -hmm. There's a couple of battles that took place in Orlando, mm -hmm. and he's actually in the audience. Stop. He flew out from, he was scouting. He flew out from, um, from New York and uh -huh. was, came out to the battle and was watching. His friend actually battled. You could see him on the side. And the very next event we did over uh, in California, in Oakland, yeah. we had him battle a guy. Yeah. Very nice, and man. He came onto the platform. Now, not only did you start Grind Time, you were a battle rapper yourself. Very good at it, by the way, my mm -hmm. friend. But Thank you actually you. wrote a book on trying to help people with writer's block. Right, right. So um, basically, I started looking up, like, how, how do you stop writer's block? What's going on in the mind and the science that breaks it down? Mm -hmm. And I developed uh, an actual technique that I use to get rid of my writer's block. Okay. So I put out a book. It's called The Book of Never-Ending Lyrics. So as long as I'm alive, the book updates every single day. Mm -hmm. so, That's dope, yeah, man. So that is I really have cool. a PDF layout, how you could lay out your notebook, how uh -huh. you, I explain how to do it. And I provide you with an endless amount of live examples with links to the beats that I write to and everything. So everybody who buys the book, they get an opportunity to collaborate with me in live writing sessions and also see like, hey, this guy is real. Like he really did get rid of his writer's block and I've been able to help people get rid of theirs. Oh, that's really amazing that you do that. Now, yeah, where can they pick that up? Where can they see it? Uh, that would be through like my Instagram, my, my social media is at Matt Ills. You can go there for it. Um, but... The way that I have the book structured, it's a very personal thing. So you can't just be a stranger and buy it. Like you have to be communicate with me because before a, you get it, yeah, there's a setup on it. It's it's like a course that you're taking. I love it, man. Yeah. I gotta mention before we leave here in a second, but please give them your social media so people know how yep. they can find yep. you and they can everything definitely support. is at Matt Ills. That's M A D D I L L Z. Love you, man. You are an Orlando icon. I'm a big fan. I've told Thank you, you that. Thank you so much. Thank you, man. I got to mention also that he's also part of a group that's a friend of our show. That's right. Free Daps. Yes. Of course he is, man. That's right. Free Daps. The Free greatest freestyle rappers on the planet. There you go. Thank you guys so much for tuning in today. On behalf of myself, Mr. James John, Mad Ills, of course. And as always, tight Mike Randolph. Thank y'all for tuning in. I'll see you tomorrow. Rapper hands. Rapper, rapper hands. <laughs>